Hey, what up there, Bones? Hey. hey. How's everybody doing this evening? We're doing oh, good. Thank lovely. you. I hope this wonderful stretch of warm weather has you enjoying the outdoors and taking full advantage of it. I would also like to say a quick little prayer for those who grow things as a livelihood. Father, please bring your rains to water the earth we so often take for granted of. Amen. Amen. So tonight's message is a conglomeration of a couple of different mini devotionals that I've come across over the years, and I'm going to try to combine them with a little bit of my personal story. So here we go. Waiting can be hard. We can easily get discouraged if we really are certain that things we're waiting for is from God. That things that brings us to that mini... Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to start again. We can easily get discouraged even if we really are certain that the thing we're waiting for is from God. That brings us to the first mini devotional. I don't remember where I got this from, but I'm not going to take credit for it. I did not write this. Against all hope. God promised Abraham that he would have descendants. Then he waited 25 years before doing anything about his promise. At ground level, that's a cruel twist of the plot, and we can hardly fault Abraham for all the wrestling he did over the process. It's an extremely frustrating position, yet God puts us in it often. The vision he gives us can take years, decades, even generations to fulfill. What do you do when you have a yes from God, but you're living in the no? When you're longing for hope and staring at hopelessness? Choose hope anyways. That's what Abraham did. Against all hope, Abraham, in hope, believed, and so became the father of many nations. Long delays and adverse circumstances are always part of the journey. That's how God works. Knowing that, and then make your choice. Against all hope, believe. Pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm. But like I said, even knowing it's God's plan and he's guiding you doesn't make the waiting any easier. And sometimes we act out on our own trying to make that thing that we want to happen happen in our own timing. And that can cause all sorts of problems. Who can raise their hand to that one? Yep, <laughs> yep. So that brings me to my own little part of the story. I had a 15-year failed marriage. My world was shattered. I was a complete failure because my marriage had failed. And I was so wounded and lonely, I started another relationship right out of the gate. Bad idea. After six years, it ended. Badly. After that, well, I kind of was not in a hurry for any other kind of relationship. And my heart's desire of being with someone who loved and cherished me slowly started to die. Friends could tell I was lonely, so the uh, when are you going to start dating questions started to happen. And that's when I said, if I'm going to be with anyone, God's going to have to have him sit down next to me because I'm done looking. About two years later, I came across this other little mini devotional. <clears throat> are you willing to trust God for his promises? Knowing, loving, and following Jesus doesn't mean that you will not experience impatience from time to time. The reason I have joy and contentment when I look at my future isn't because, choosing, I'm, isn't because I'm choosing ignorant bliss. You and I can have joy because we believe God when he promises in Psalm 37, 4, Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Not only that, I believe this verse also means that God has the power to change the desires of my heart. If a godly marriage is still a desire of mine, I can live in contentment because I trust God to, to, to fulfill his promises to me. I came across that in November of 2014. That was about two months before I was sitting in a Koinea board meeting when Andrew came in and sat down next to me. I know waiting can be so hard. I still hate waiting for things. But if you're like me, then you're in good company. Because remember, Abraham struggled with it too. 
So remember, when you're waiting, when that thing that you've been hoping for seems like it's never going to happen, against all hope, believe. Father, thank you that you always have perfect timing and that you always want the best for us. Help us through your spirit to wait on you and your perfect plans for us. Amen. Amen. Well, that's it for me. <clears throat> thank you for letting me share tonight. Um, if you have any prayer requests, please don't hesitate to send them to us. We really do love praying for you and with you. And make sure you tell us about those praise reports. We love giving him all the glory. Amen. Go out this week. Have a good rest of your week. Be blessed, but be the blessing. Be the blessing. Be the blessing. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Amen. Amen.